very very hard place to come and visit. It's a quarter of a century since his son was murdered because of the colour of his skin. Going to the spot where the attack happened is so emotionally draining for Neville Lawrence. This is the only visit he will make to mark the anniversary. For 25 years to be now, it's... I have to start thinking whether or not I'm dreaming. It's that I've, that I'm, I'm still alive because I thought I would die after after all what was happening. I, I, I don't know how I've been able to survive so long. I don't know how. This is the now iconic photograph of Stephen Lawrence, whose story has come to symbolise the battle against racism. A bright, confident young man, he was simply waiting at a bus stop when he was chased and stabbed by a five-strong gang of racist thugs. The original suspects strutted and grinned when they appeared at the public inquiry. It would be 18 years before two David Norris and Gary Dobson would be convicted. Now, in what he calls the hardest decision he has ever made, Neville Lawrence says his Christian faith means he has to forgive his son's killers. A decision made easier because Stephen's murder put racism under the spotlight. I've lost so much in, in the space of how long they took to kill my son. It's destroyed so much things. But the thing that makes me feel good, in a sense, is that when these guys, when these racist guys decided to kill my son, they didn't realize what they were doing. Instead of killing my son, they've destroyed their own lives and they've made my son into a legend. Yeah. The Metropolitan Police says it now may be forced to close the case if there are no new leads. But Neville Lawrence says he will never give up. I'm not going to stop. I don't care what decision the, the, the Metropolitan Police make to scale down. We've had some justice. But I love total justice because these people did something wrong and they should pay for it. The unprovoked attack on Stephen Lawrence has had a profound and lasting impact on attitudes to race relations. But the passage of time has not healed this father's pain. Ronke Phillips, News at 10.